I will begin this video by going through plants' phylogenetic tree. Chlorophytes and charophytes are protists known as green algae that are closely related to land plants. The earliest land plants are known as bryophytes. They are non-vascular and they include liverworts, mosses, and hornworts. The earlier vascular plants are seedless and include lycophytes and monilophytes. Lastly, seed plants include gymnosperms and angiosperms, which are flower plants. Land plants share five main traits with green algae. Chloroplast is the organelle that functions in photosynthesis. It contains green pigments known as chlorophylls A and B that help absorb light. Sporopollenin is an outer coating that helps prevent cycle desiccation or water loss. Cellulose is a polysaccharide found in cell wool, whereas starch is a polysaccharide used for energy storage. In addition to the five traits, plants also share four unique traits with cherophytes, its closest relating species. First, a rose-shaped complex for cellulose synthesis. Second, the structure of flagellated sperm, which is found in some early plants. Third, formation of a phragmoplast, which is an alignment of cytoskeletal elements and Golgi vesicles for cell plate. Fourth, peroxisome enzymes to minimize loss from photorespiration, a wasteful pathway that competes with the Calvin cycle by using oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. All plants include five derived traits. First, a multicellular embryo that is dependent on the parent. Therefore, land plants are also called embryophytes. Second, alternation of generations, which means that plant alternates between multicellular haploid gametophyte and multicellular diploid sporophyte. The sporophyte produces walled spores in organs called sporangia. The spore walls contain sporopollenin, making them resistant to harsh environments. Fourth, gametes are produced within sex organs of gametophytes, known as gametangia. The fifth trait is apical meristems, which are growth regions at plant tips, allowing plants to sustain continual growth in their length. Most plants also contain a waxy coat known as the cuticle, and the leaves contain openings known as stomata. Derived traits of vascular plants include xylem, which is the vascular tissue that functions in water and mineral transport, phloem, which is the vascular tissue that functions in nutrient transport, Lignin, which is the woody part that strengthens water-conducting cells and provides structural support. Sporophylls are leaves that bear sporangia, the organ that produces spore. Lastly, vascular plants have well-developed roots and leaves. Derived traits of seed plants include seed, which is an embryo and nutrients surrounded by a protective coat. It provides some evolutionary advantages over spores, including the ability to remain dormant for years, and the ability to be transported long distances by wind or animals. Second, pollens, which are male gametophytes that can produce a pollen tube that transfers the sperm to the ovule, which is the female reproductive organ that consists of megasporangium megaspores and one or more protective integuments. And heterospory, which is the production of spores of two different sizes and sexes by the sporophytes of land plants. More details about plant reproduction and life cycle will be covered in a future video. Derived traits of angiosperm include flower, which is a structure specialized for sexual reproduction. Fruits contains mature ovary and help in seed dispersal. Ovary is found in the carpal of the flower and contains several ovules. Lastly, double fertilization, in which one sperm fertilizes the egg forming a diploid zygote and another sperm combines with two nuclei and forms the food-storing endosperm. Bryophytes or non-vascular plants are gametophyte dominant, and their sporophytes are dependent on the gametophyte. They date all the way back to 470 million years ago. Spagman or peat moss forms extensive deposits of partially decayed organic material, known as peat and it is an important global reservoir of organic carbon. The sporophyte of a moss contains peristomes, which discharges spores, the capsule, which is the sporangium, and the seta and foot. The larger part of the plant is the haploid gametophyte. Rhizoids anchor gametophytes to substrates. The height of gametophytes is constrained by lack of vascular tissues. Flagellated sperm of bryophytes and seedless vascular plants constrain them to moist environments. 
Seedless, fascicular plants are sporophyte dominant. Their gametophyte generation is independent. They date back to 420 million years ago, which contributed to an increase in photosynthesis that may have helped produce the global cooling at the end of the Carboniferous period. The decaying plants of these Carboniferous forests eventually became coil that can be used for fossil fuel. There are two groups of seedless vascular plants. The earlier group is lycophytes. Their sporangia are found on microfills, plant leaf with one single unbranched vein. Lycophytes include club mosses, spike mosses, and quillworts. The second group of seedless vascular plants include manilophytes. Their sporangia are found on megafills leaves containing many large veins. Monilophytes include ferns, horsetails, and whisk ferns. All seed plants are sporophyte dominant, and their gametophytes are microscopic and dependent on the sporophyte. General sperm dates back to 390 million years ago. It dominated the Mesozoic era. It includes four groups, Cycadophyta or cycads, and Ginkophyta or ginkos still retains flagellated sperm. Cycads have large cones and palm-like leaves, whereas ginkgo has fan-like leaves that turn gold in autumn. Nettophyta has three groups. Nettum include tropical trees, shrubs, and vines. Ephedra, which are desert shrubs that produce ephedrine, which are used medicinally as decongestant. While Wistia are found in the deserts of southwestern Africa and contains the largest leaves known. Coniferophyta is the largest group of gymnosperms. Most species have woody cones, and it includes pines and redwood forests. The name angiosperm refers to seed contained in fruits. They are the most diverse and widespread of all plants, and includes about 90% of all plant species. Like gymnosperm, they are sporophyte dominant and has microscopic dependent gametophyte. They date back to 125 million years ago, dominating the Cretaceous period till the present. There are four main groups of angiosperms. The oldest group is known as basal angiosperms. It includes Emberella, water lilies, and star anise. The magnoliids consist of magnolias, laurels, and black pepper plants. About one quarter of angiosperms are monocots, which contains orchid, grasses, and palms. More than two-thirds of angiosperm are eudicots, which contains the legume family. Many edible fruit trees such as strawberry plants, apple and pear trees, and many flowering trees such as oak, walnut, maple, willow, and birch.